Let's get right to it. In the real world, when we see the word database, those in the space will often believe you're talking about relational databases. Relational databases are the most used, and they've been around the longest. Relational databases and data warehouses are databases, but they are architected differently, and they have different real-world use cases and priorities. Most real-world applications sit on top of relational databases. These databases are mostly reads and certs and updates. They are live databases, and that means they are mission critical. If one is down, that means the company is losing money or not functioning properly. Data warehouses are mostly reads. That means the people using data warehouses are only reading the data. The only inserts happen during loads, which often happen at night. These are critical, but they aren't as critical as their relational counterparts. Relational databases feed or load data into data warehouses. Row-oriented databases are databases that organize data by record, keeping all the data associated with the record next to each other in memory or on disk. This is how relational databases work. The top relational databases are SQL Server and Oracle. They are optimized for reading and writing rows efficiently. Column-oriented databases are databases that organize data by field, keeping all the data associated in the field next to each other in memory and on disk. The top two columnar databases are BigQuery and Snowflake. They are optimized for reading and computing columns efficiently. Now, can someone who is a DBA who works with relational databases do data warehouse administration? Sure, with a ton of data warehouse training. Most data warehouse admins, everyone I know, was a DBA. Now, most of you are preparing for a data analyst role, and as a data analyst, you are not going to need to know the nuances between the two systems. You're only going to need to know the basics. Now, as a data engineer, you are going to need to know the nuances between the systems. However, truth is, you won't get a data engineering job without relational database experience on your resume. I have a feeling that most of you greatly underestimate the complexity of these systems in the real world and what employers expect you to know and what you think you need to know. My Uber technical interview was three hours long. Every single question was about SQL Server. It was all about administering one relational database system. Over an hour of the interview was on internals and architecture. Now, this was for a senior level role, but it should underscore what companies expect from you before they're going to hand out big salaries. Most of you are focused on the data analyst role, and you should be. The only questions you'll be getting about data warehouses will be softball comparison questions. Now, if you aren't in a data role and you're studying machine learning or data engineering, then you're wasting your time. There are zero entry level roles in either of these. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have a great day. We'll see you soon.